The first question, uh, you've been around uh, since the late 70s, how did you meet everyone, each other? How did I meet? What, are you talking about everybody in Fishbone? Yes. Oh, how did the band meet e each other? Well, the band met each other in junior high school in Los Angeles, California, 1979. Yeah, during the inner city, inner city busing program. So while I lived in the valley, in a predominantly white neighborhood, my family was the only black family. Everybody else in the place was white. Uh, the, the schools they needed to be integrated. And so they integrated a lot of black people from inner city Los Angeles into the valley okay. where I was at. And so we all met in music class, in band, oh. actually, music, yeah, yeah, in junior high, yeah, yeah. That's where we all met. Thank you. Uh, your self-titled EP uh, features four of six uh, original members from the band, and it marks the first time you've recorded uh, with the bands in the early days. Uh, uh, what was it like to reconnect with the band, and how did you reconnect with them? How do we reconnect with you mean with the band, our band members? Yeah. How do we reconnect? Yeah. But maybe you don't have to reconnect. Maybe you still get in well, touch. We, we, okay. So everybody has been Okay, so at first there were the all original band members. And a lot of people quit the band for their various personal reasons. And then Norwood and I bass player which original members we got uh, some different band members to carry on the legacy that's what I called fishbone special forces right so we had that whole era probably about like five maybe ten years of that and then uh, and then later on they everybody ended up leaving for some reason or another I don't I don't never see this kind of shit because I'm always I got my horse blinders on, okay. so I'm always looking yeah. forward, forward. And so everybody quit, and then uh, all the original band members, for the exception of Kendall Jones, got back in the band. Okay. Yeah, and so that's how we we uh, continue our legacy. Is that the question? Was that, yeah. is that the yeah. answer? That was the question. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us how the band approached the composition of this new self-titled EP when you compare the way you created this EP with the 1985 Fishbone EP? What are the main differences? Well, the main, the main difference is like, like comparing it with the 1985 EP. Yeah. I think that the only thing that I see is comparable with the 1985 EP is the picture. Yeah. The picture of the band. That's because it's the same shape on the front and on the back. Right? So, uh, yeah, that's the only thing that's pretty much the same. But the music is, is different. The music's different. Yeah, we are, yeah, yeah. Yep, the music's different. And Visuals the same. You are considered to be the creator of uh, fusion music. Fusion. Fusion. Yeah, fusion. fusion. That's a uh, hard. When you was young, um, which band uh, inspired inspired you? Oh, when we were younger, what band inspired Fishbone? Yes. James Brown. Uh, Sly Stone, 
Funkadelic. Led Zeppelin. Yes. <laughs> uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins. Wow. A lot of jazz. But then, Ska. Like the, the, the selector and the specials and bad manners. Uh, a lot of that English British Ska came into the picture. And then punk rock came into the picture. The Bad Brains, the Dead Kennedys, the Germs. Yeah, all that stuff, you know. And then uh, and then reggae, we discovered the reggae and then Jamaican ska. We didn't realize that Jamaican ska was before reggae. So Jamaican ska was before reggae and then reggae. And then there's the, the British ska. All came into the picture right around the same time. And yeah, and so that that's what we were, cause we, and a plus, like a lot of soul music. Yes. Basically, everything that we do is soul based. Even if it's punk rocking, yeah. or if it's hard rock, or if it's metal, it's all soul music to Fishbone. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I think that's one thing that Fishbone brings that a lot of people ain't bringing, is the black side yeah. of of rock. I, as I look around, I don't see too many black people. Yeah. <laughs> I see yeah. I see a lot of black. Yeah. Right? And but, I see this brown which yeah. is black. You know, I got my black fingernails and everything. So that's correct. I see I see that, right? And I'm like, okay, fishbone, we we bring not only black as black men, yes. we also bring we, we bling, yeah, we bring the bling too, but we bring black music, soul music is yeah. what we bring. And it has enough aggression and enough passion to where we can be considered in the hell fest because we bring the fire too. Yeah. Just like all these other death metal bands and the death metal and punk rock and, and all that yeah. type of stuff. They bring the fire and they bring the passion. We bring the fire and the passion too, but we bring it yeah. with soul. Sure. Like Don Cornelius, the soul train. <laughs> soul <laughs> train, yeah. <laughs> but with fire. Wow. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay. So Hell yeah. Looking back to your childhood, can you tell us in which musical environment did you, did you grow up? Soul music. Soul, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, like I say, James Brown, Sly Stone, Funkadelic. Okay. Uh, uh, Duke Ellington. Yeah, Duke Ellington. Kind of Louis stuff. Jordan. Uh, man, I'm like lots of 1950s big band swing jazz. Richard Pryor. Rudy Ray Moore. Okay. Even though that's not music, that's still like a, a lot of comedy. Which is black culture. Okay. There was a lot of music at home with your and, parents. And all that music yeah, yeah. that you would hear with those people yeah. is was a lot of soul music. Okay. Lots of soul music, man. Some of the funkiest soul music you could hear. And then when we when we discovered the punk rock and, and the rock and yeah. everything else, yeah. it's the same passion as yeah. the other like when I think about hip hop. Mm -hmm. And punk rock, yeah. same passion. Same passion. All, it's kind of almost like some of the same message, almost. You know, when I and, and what what made it easy for me to to really grasp a lot of my punk rock was a lot of gospel music, okay. because gospel music has a lot of the same beats mm. as punk rock does. Yeah. Okay. A lot of the same. And they got a lot of that stuff. So it's the, yeah. except gospel has melody, and punk rock has angst. Okay. But they both got a lot of fire and passion fire and the nature and yeah, and energy. energy. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, that's that's perfect right there. Yeah, that's like the yin and the yang, you know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you currently do a French tour with uh, Ten Show in France. Do you think there's a special connection? with Fishbone and France. Oh, hell yeah, man. It's a special connection with Fishbone and France. Because I think that France was one of the first European countries 
that embraced Fishbone and, and brought us here from America. Yeah. And plus, uh, like a lot of the music, and uh, 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 a lot of the music, man, is uh, liberating. French music. Yeah. Man, when I first came here, I collected so much French music, man. It was, I had to bring it back with me to, uh, to, to the States. Do you remember the first time? I really friends? like the French culture too, man, because because they they uh they got medical insurance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, they got, and they pay their musicians, from what I hear. That's the right. government That's pays the musicians, yeah. right? That's correct. That's correct. They give a shit about their artists. Yeah. America, it's not so much so like that in America. Okay. Um, there are still four um, founding members of the uh, original lineup. Uh, how do you explain this uh, longevity? How do I explain? Say it again. How do I explain it? Uh, for for um, the four uh, members of for the uh, four members, oh, the original the, members, yes. right? And how We're do I? Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still friends. Yeah, yeah. We're still friends. Well, we, we got to be somewhat friends to be in the same band, or at least have somewhat the same vision. Yeah. So, and we see that the vision is important enough for the world to know what we're talking about and what we've been talking about. So, uh, that's why they got us on the Hellfest. Because they feel we're important enough to, for everybody to see and learn and soak it up <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah if you had the opportunity to meet yourself in the early days of Fishbone in 1979 uh, what advice would you give you oh okay wait say that one more time yep. if you had the opportunity to meet yourself in uh, 1979 in the early days of Fishbone, what advice would you give you? Well, make sure you don't sign the fucking record contract unless you got a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> that has your best interests at heart so that your masters, which is your soul, get locked up with a, a record company or executives that, that don't care about your music, which is your soul, which, which means, uh, that means hell. Because if you got your soul locked up, which is your masters and your music and your lyrics and your, and your stuff and your art like that, and now somebody else has it because of a contract and they don't care about it anymore, they could just, they can put it up on the shelf and leave it there, but then they won't let you use it? That is hell. Yeah. So, we were able to get our masters back. We were able to get our rights back from the record company, from Sony and, and all that other shit. So now, you know that word perpetuity, that means forever, except for a five year window to get your masters back. That's one thing that the record companies don't tell you. So we got our we got our shit back. John Doe from X, they got their masters back too. <laughs> so you know, when you think about who the real Satan is and who's the real who's the real devil, man, it might be the record company. Maybe. But you, it's always good to be able to, because I didn't know any of this in 1979. So it's taken the majority of my life to find out that things like that in the contract, you got to know how to read it, or you got to have somebody with your, with your best interests at heart to read that and point that stuff out. And beyond that, you got to create your own record company master everything you got to do your own shit you have it and you have your destiny in your own hands instead of somebody else who they, they might not care about they might not care about you 
and, and then you'll be trapped. Then you'll really be in hell, which has nothing to do with this hell fest we're at now. And it has nothing to do with this, but that's, you know, being at this hell fest here, I consider it having a hell of a good time. Was they, are we out of time? Okay, M one? maybe last one. Right, maybe last, last question. question. Okay, okay, come on, lay it on me. Uh, let's uh, back to the EP. Uh, the EP was recorded and produced by Fat Mike from a band called Yeah, Fat NOFX. Mike, no effects. Yeah, that's okay. right. Uh huh. How has it been working with him? How did you meet him? Did you know him before? Tell us everything. <laughs> so, No Effects used to open up for Fishbone on the Warp Tour. Okay. Maybe a little bit before that. Yeah. And so yeah, they would open up for us. And so um, when they got to when they got to where they were, Fat Mike was like, "I like Fishbone. I want to be able to preserve Fishbone, and so that the world can still know that they're here and what they're saying because Fishbone is important like that." And so thanks to Fat Mike, we got we got a record out now, so the people will know we're still here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, right thank, on, Fat thanks Mike. Thanks to him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so Thank you, Angelo. Thank oh, you, you very much for the man. time. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Wish you a lot of good things for you, for your family, for the band, and for the show today. Thank because you. Because Fishbone live today at the Hellfest. Thank That's you right. very much. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah.